Do you know how easy it is to replace the word bomb if you're like trying to commit an act of terrorism? I'm no, no, I'm not saying I'm a terrorist. Of course I'm not. Hello everyone, how are you doing today? Okay, well, good for you. Today's video is going to be quite the Halloween-y culinary experience. So, sit back, relax, while I do all the fucking work. Like always. So, I recently went to Target, and I found myself by the Halloween candy aisle. I must say, some of these people fucking need Jesus, and I'm not even religious. Seeing some of the stuff on the shelves made me think, as a nation, what have we come to? Yeah, there's, you know, minimum wage being absolute shit. Yeah, there's Roe v. Wade being overturned, but this is the real shit that we should be worried about, okay? Those are petty little issues. I want to fucking know who is the sociopath who came up with Funfetti candy corn. I want to know who the fuck came up with Nerds candy corn. And to get to the root of it, who the fuck came up with candy corn in the first place? That shit is just solidified corn syrup. And here I am, paying hard-earned money for it, about to ingest it by choice. There's also a pumpkin pie flavored Kit Kat. This is either going to be disgusting or delicious. There is no way to find out other than eating it and trying it out ourselves. Green Kit Kat, marshmallow flavored. Marshmallows aren't green, you dumb bitch. Now, I will say, I think as Americans, we take shit too far. Pumpkin, now I fuck with pumpkin and I fuck with all the different flavored pumpkin things, but there are some things that I really don't fuck with. Like pumpkin salsa, I think I saw pumpkin salsa and I'm like, what the f- Y'all remember when Shrek came out? How green everything was? Ketchup was green. The Twinkie cream was green. Literally everything was fucking green and it was disgusting. Okay, now with all that being said, I also do have two other things that I got. Dracula hot drink bomb kit. Also, here's something I always wondered. You know how it's illegal in the US to say the word bomb in an airport? Do they think that's going to prevent terrorism? You think terrorists are casually throwing around the word bomb? Oh, hey, you wanna hand me the suitcase with the bomb? Yeah, let's get ready for our mission today on the on the plane. They're not fucking saying that shit. Do you know how easy it is to replace the word bomb if you're like trying to commit an act of terrorism? I'm no, no, I'm not saying I'm a terrorist. Of course I'm not. I'm just saying it's a silly law to not say, to make it illegal to say the word bomb in an airport. Like, come on, that's not gonna prevent terrorism. I'm pretty sure even before that law was created, no fucking terrorist was using the word bomb to refer to their bomb. Fucking stupid. Anyways, making this cute. I got, what is this? Twisted Tavern? Okay, they could have just said Halloween flavored gingerbread house. They could have, I don't, twist it. You're not fooling every, anyone. I'm not being fooled. Wake up, sheeple. Now, um, this is why I can never have children because I read it and I'm like, damn, this shit sounds like a lot of work. A lot of work that my beautiful princess hands should not be touching, but you know what? For the sake of today's video, I will be doing it. I will not forget this. All of you owe me at least 10 favors, so please keep that in mind. All right, so I got started on those, on the fucking hot drink bath bomb, whatever the fuck. So one very impressive thing is it came with a silicone mold, and like a whole ass silicone mold with little Dracula faces imprinted on them. Now um, I had, it came with white chocolate melts and I also have regular chocolate melts and I wanted a little bit of representation and diversity. Now I think I made it a little too dark to be my skin color. However, it doesn't need to be my skin color. I just wanted something a little different. So our Draculas are going to be brown today. Okay, and for those of you who are like, Dracula's supposed to be white, fuck off. I don't care. Okay, okay, so while we're, while we're waiting for our Dracula bombs to freeze or to like set in the freezer, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be trying this sinful ass candy and we're gonna see how that goes. Here's the Funfetti candy corn. I don't know what to expect, I'm so excited. Okay, so it's it smells like funfetti. And they look cute, so let's try it. Okay, here are my first thoughts. 
it tastes exactly what it sounds like. It tastes like a mix of candy corn and funfetti. However, it also tastes like straight up diabetes. Do not give this to your children. They will get addicted to this because kids, what the fuck do kids like? Kids like sugar. They don't care if it tastes good. They like sugar. If you give this to your child, you will have a problem. And guess what? I will have a problem with you for being so irresponsible by giving this to your child. Do not give this to your child. Your child will get addicted to it and it'll be just a downward spiral, spiral from there. This is another reason why I'm not having kids. I don't have to worry about this shit. This shit tastes like frosting and corn syrup had a baby and this came out. But it's cute. It's cute. Nice little pastel colors, pink. Maybe, okay, you know what? Maybe one more, just to, just for a second thought, because I liked it for a second, because that's how long it tasted good for. The rest was kind of disgusting. I was right about one thing. Whoever fucking came up with Fun Freddy Candy Corn needs Jesus. Do you know why? I am pretty sure whoever came up with this idea, they fucking know this. They, they know this shit is like cancer. They know it's diet. They know it's like diabetes in triangle form. They just don't give a shit. They're like, oh, you know what? Fuck the children. I'm gonna make this shit to get a quick buck. Disgusting. Whoever came up with that needs to be demoted, needs to be put away, needs to be locked up, throw away the key, whatever. Okay, so next, on to our next cancerous item. Nerds candy corn. Now, this shit, these, this candy, has different flavors to it, which is which is unique. Cause candy corn, it's all like corn syrup flavored. Okay, so first thing I, first impression when I'm smelling it, you know when you're done trigger treating and you stick your head in your bag and you take a deep whiff in? That's what this smells like in the best way possible. All right, first thing I'm gonna try is the purple one. Grape shell with grape strawberry inside. Okay. I think this, kind of strays from the typical candy corn flavor or the typical candy corn recipe because it has a shell on the outside that has a flavor and the inside is a different flavor and it's a different texture. So this is a little bit more for the refined people who like layered flavors. It is, however, very juicy and it's very pungent. You feel like someone squirted a bunch of fruit flavored syrup in your mouth. It's a little too juicy. I honestly would not recommend that you give this to your children either. Here's the next one we're trying. Oh, already fell out. Now before y'all say, this isn't a blind taste test, whatever. My mom wanted to try one before I did, okay? So I let her because I'm a good daughter. So don't fucking come, up, come at me with that shit. All right, Kit Kat, which is brew. Okay, what's it actually? Um, crisp wafers and marshmallow flavored cream. All right, now this looks a lot like a Shrek Kit Kat. As Americans, we take shit too far. How, how green everything was, ketchup was green, the Twinkie cream was green. Very, very interesting. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, this is pretty good. It does taste like marshmallow. Feels like I'm eating a s'more. All right, the last candy that we're trying. Pumpkin pie Kit Kat. Um, okay, so. It smells, it smells very pumpkin-y. It smells very fall-y. I wanna fucking know how long these Kit Kats have been sitting around for. Now I am going to eat this because I'm not a wasteful person, but just know that if you do see me in the news, this is probably what it was. It tastes like the smell 
of the candle section at Home Goods during fall, which is not a bad thing. However, shape of this makes me think that this Kit Kat is recycled from like last year or who the fuck knows when. So I do not want to risk my life for that reason. But it doesn't taste bad. Now, would I eat multiple of it? No. Would I hand this out to children? Absolutely fucking not. Because what the fuck kind of child is gonna want this? All right, now that I'm done giving myself fucking diabetes, it's time to continue with our next diabetic item. You see it? Okay, well, that's too bad. Okay, so they said to divide the marshmallows and the cocoa evenly, but honestly, that's easier said than done. You can't just tell me to do that and not expect me to have like some kind of anxiety about it. Okay, I can probably put more. I'm gonna put three. Okay, so the moment we have all been waiting for is here. I have my mug. I have my bomb. We're going to put this bomb in action. Okay, everyone, so we're gonna start off making our Halloween flavored gingerbread house. Okay, so first I need to knead and massage. I have a strong feeling that this house is going to be much smaller than what we see in the box. What we see in the box, it looks grand, it looks beautiful. It looks like I could live in there. This, this looks like a New York apartment. I used rice to stick my nails back on, so we'll see how long they last. Okay, look, it's kind of coming together. Look at that. Look at that. First floor, done. Also, I do not recommend using rice as a nail adhesive if you're like actually gonna be doing stuff with your hands. But if you just like need to take like a picture real quick or if you're trying to film like a, like a really quick like reel or something, then I think that that's like the only time it'll work. So I remember one time I had a friend and his mom bought us a gingerbread house to make. It was probably the same thing as this. And I asked him if he wanted to make it and he said he did not because he said that the last time when he made one with his ex-girlfriend, it was uh, the most childish and degrading experience. <laughs> Which by the way, I think your sense of maturity is very insecure if you think that like, like you think you're above it because you're an adult. And it's like, bitch, I think, no, I think that your negative and mean-spirited attitude towards everything is childish and demeaning, okay? Like, okay, so I dated this guy who now he's like in gay porn. Okay, whatever. He thought he was like so mature. <laughs> And he, he like got mad at me for talking about Attack on Titan in front of other people because he was like, I don't want people to know that I'm watching cartoons. It's like, dude, who cares? I think it's funny when people think that like, if you do like fun, childish things like this, it immediately means that you're mature. No bitch, you're immature because you're a piece of shit and no one fucking likes you. Oh wait, I sandwiched the wrong end. It's supposed to be like this. Sorry, I didn't grow up with a chimney because apparently Apparently Santa only visits like white kids. That was one that was one takeaway I had from all the Christmas movies. Santa only visits white children and only white people can be the main character. Oh my god, how cute! But this is my first time making a gingerbread house, so this how exciting is that? Okay, so I just took a sip of this. It's not horrible. I think the problem, the problem is you can't fit a lot of hot cocoa in those little balls. Here's our lovely, here's our lovely um, house. And now it's time to decorate. Here is the finished product. Um, I'm not gonna use this black glitter because I do not want a fucking mess, but here we go. Cute, adorable, beautiful.